Hey folks, welcome back. What we've got here today is that G366 again. And unfortunately, the last couple days she started running real rough, idling horrible, and dying. You can look you there at the tachometer, running at two grand, sometimes as low as 1600, much worse, is up and dies. So, don't know what it is, something's happened. We've got a little racket going on down here on the left side. Don't know what that is either. I'm getting in close with the camera trying to pick up some audio to tell me what in the world that noise is, but uh, don't know, so we're going to have to troubleshoot this thing. Take her inside and put her on the bench. Now, on the bench, I'm sorry about the mess in the background. I've been rebuilding a Husqvarna 350 back there, so we'll try and keep it out of the way. So, we're going to get right into it. One big clue right off the bat, every once in a while, it's running backwards. So if it's running backwards, that's a timing issue of some kind. And I don't mean port timing either. We're talking something electric. So I'm guessing flywheel key is split. Uh, could be coil, could be a cracked wire leading in or out of that thing, but in there is that problem. I'm pretty confident. So that's what we'll go ahead and do is deal with that thing and um, find out what it is that's going on. Don't know, but we're definitely going to find out, right? So let's break out the tools and pop that cover. Good old DeWalt. My son gave me that. That's probably my favorite tool. Uh, I don't know how long I had it and I, I hardly ever used it because I was always afraid of getting it dirty. <laughs> so anyway... Pop off the rest of those screws, pull that recoil starter. Uh, not much to do in this, it's just a matter of finding what the problem is. We'll be lucky if it's a split key because that, that'll be nice and simple, easy to do. If we got to troubleshoot a short wire or an intermittent coil, well, that'll be a whole different matter. It, it doesn't run real good when it's cold, but uh, it runs even worse when she gets hot. So we'll see. And sit here and shake that thing. It's, get a little bit of odd noise and it feels a little funny. I mean, I know I'm, I'm, I've already said I think it's a flywheel issue, connection issue there. So maybe I, I, wanna, I want it to be feeling funny right now, but it, it doesn't feel right. That's for doggone sure. So let's, I pulled that spark plug. Now we'll pop the <clears throat> piston stop in there. Back that nut off and uh, it'll take us a second. Oh! No, uh, that, that's too loose. I shouldn't have been able to break it that free. I mean, that was way too easy. Uh, I am really suspecting a key. That, that key down there in that flywheel is probably split. We're awfully close to finding out. We'll give it a little tap here and see if we can set up some vibrations. If we can't, we'll get the puller out, you know. Do it the right way. And, wow. You bet. No doubt about it. That flywheel was loose. Never seen one come off that easy. Look at just that itty bit of rust. I, I didn't even scratch the, that aluminum with that bucking bar. And look at the way that nut, it's only been on one time and it's got that all dug in like that on that flywheel. Hmm, maybe that's the problem, the nut's backing off. Huh, well, see that aluminum shaving? And that wallow out on that flywheel keyway? That, uh, Something's not good. Yeah, look at that. More shavings down in there. And that the, the key way on that crank is wallowed and bent too. See it on the right side? So we're going to grab a new key, see how tight it fits in there. If we got to fatten one up, we'll go ahead and fatten it up. That's right. You take the key, you lay it down on some steel, you wrap it a couple times, and it makes it fat. And then if you have to, you can file it down just a tad to make it fit good and snug again. Uh, I guess that's shade tree mechanic crap, huh? Anyway, got that new key in there. It was good and tight. So uh, we're going to put her back on, see if it works out good. Uh, start drawing it down, right? So... Feeling like we're going to wrap this thing up real quick. Put that recoil starter back on. Draw it down. Not much to it at this point. You saw everything coming off step by step. And we'll pop that <clears throat> piston stop back in. We already had that taken care of. Now it's time to 
I mean, pull the piston stop out and put the uh, spark plug in. You know what it looks like. We don't need to turn for you to see that. That's good and tight. Let's grab that spark plug wire. Pop that puppy on top of there. This is rolling right along. I'm telling you, we're just about done here. Got that air filter cover or air filter itself going on. And we bring the cover in. I'm bad at lining these things up. Usually I got to try it three or four times. Today I got lucky, huh? So that takes care of that. Time to move that camera and see if it'll crank, right? So. Yep, she barked. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It sounded pretty good. Sounded pretty good. Let's grab the tack. We're going to set her down and pull that tack out. Take a peek at it. My ears are telling me it's good. Oh, i got to bring the camera in. Looky there. We're looking good. Anytime I'm between 26 and 28 on something that small, I... Uh, I'm happy with it. And it's holding her pretty steady, too. Holy smoke. I'm telling you what, time to declare victory on this thing. Uh, what do they say? Mission complete? Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you're learning something from this stuff and you feel like subscribing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notified every time I got something new coming out, just click that bell and that baby will ring you right up. Okay. And once again, thanks for watching, folks. Have a great day.